In pursuit of another world title opportunity, two-time world champion, Mayo Yoshida, from Kayashima, Japan, will face off against Shireta Metcalf. Of Dallas, Texas, on Tuesday, November 7, as part of the latest installment of DeBella Entertainment's Broadway boxing series. Titled Heroes on the Hudson, a one-night-only event to support the heroic veterans of the United States Armed Forces. The bout, scheduled for 10 rounds at Edison Ballroom in New York City, will be contested for the vacant IBF Intercontinental Bantamweight title. Former world champion and U.S. Marine veteran, Jamal Semper Fi Herring, will compete in the main event. The evening will kick off with five amateur bouts, each featuring an NYPD officer or military veteran, and will conclude with four world-class professional bouts. The amateur bouts will be exclusive to those in attendance. The professional boxing portion of the card, featuring Yoshida vs. Metcalf, will air live exclusively on DAZN, beginning at 8.00 p.m. ET. Tickets for Heroes on the Hudson can be purchased via Telecharge.com or by calling 800 447 7400 Tables of 10. Including a sit-down dinner, are $10,000. Ringside seats, including buffet, are $250 plus ticket fees. Standing room only tickets are $125 plus ticket fees. All tickets, regardless of price, include open bar. Edison Ballroom is located at 240 West 47th Street, New York, New York, 10036. Doors will open on the night of the event at 5.30 p.m. ET, with the first bout scheduled for 6.00 p.m. ET. Heroes on the Hudson is proudly sponsored by Morgan Stanley and Kavu Securities. A portion of the proceeds from the event will go to support merging vets and players and the West Point Society of New York. Mayo Yoshida is a very talented fighter and a two-time world champion for a reason, said Lou DiBella, president of DiBella Entertainment. Her opponent on November 7, Sharetta Metcalf, is a formidable fighter herself, who has already shown me she is capable of competing at the top level of her division. This is an important fight with the IBF Intercontinental title at stake and, likely, a world title challenge for the winner. Yoshida, 16-3, defeated Casey Croft in 2019 to capture the WBO Super Flyweight World title. She lost. The belt in her second title defense via technical decision after an accidental headbutt cut the bout short against Tomoko. Okuda in December 2020. However, she regained the belt in a rematch six months later. In her debut under the DiBella Entertainment banner. Yoshida defeated Indaya Smith on points over eight rounds on April 27. It was also her first fight in the United States. Despite her victory, she had reservations about her performance that she looks to put to rest on November 7. Last time. I was unable to properly prepare for the fight due to visa issues and the fact that I had just arrived in the U.S., said Yoshida. Communication was very difficult, especially with my trainers. For this bout, I have been able to train well at Gleason's gym and work very hard with my team. This time, I believe he'll be able to show the true Mayo Yoshida. Yoshida hopes that a win on November 7 will place her one step closer to fighting for a world title once again. After arriving in the States about a year ago, Yoshida now considers New York home and looks forward to fighting at Edison Ballroom in Times Square. I have been treated with kindness by many New Yorkers and I really love the city. I am very grateful to be able to have a fight on an event supporting military veterans just days before this important holiday. I will fight in this match as a New Yorker. I have watched videos of my opponent, Yoshida said of Metcalf. My impression of her is that she is tall and has a good out boxer style. I have not fought at 118 pounds in five years. However, I have fought a lot of taller fighters, so it is not a problem. There is no shortage of inspiration for Yoshida, who will be cheered on by her eight-year-old daughter. I am inspired by my daughter, who believes in me and is always there for me, and by all of the people that support me. My childhood was very difficult, she continued. I want to prove that no matter how difficult things get, 
If you don't give up on your dreams and keep pursuing them, you can make your dreams a reality regardless of your background. I also want to give people who are in the same situation as me the courage to live strongly. For her part. Metcalf 12 for 1, 2 KOs, is ready to show that she belongs in the ring with a two-time world champion. I'm feeling great, said Metcalf. I'm feeling strong. I've been manifesting this fight and working hard. I. No, Yoshida, was a two-time WBO world champion and she's coming to fight. I'm letting her know. That I'm here to fight and I'm on that level as well. The experienced Metcalf, once ranked the one super bantamweight in the US as an amateur, is coming off of a win against previously unbeaten, former IBO bantamweight world champion Melissa Adessa Parker on July 29th. She has lost just once over the past six years, via majority decision. Metcalf, who comes from a military family, said, It means a lot to me to fight on heroes on the Hudson. I have family that was in World War II. I have family who still lives in Killeen, Texas, on the Army base. All of my great uncles were in the Army as well. They're buried at the Army Cemetery here in Dallas.